The Australian government has just finally allowed care workers, support workers from overseas to come into their country with work visa. As of yesterday, you can start assessing your skills to see if you are qualified to apply for this route. So I'm going to be giving you all the details in this video and I hope that you take this seriously if this is something that you have always wanted. If you have worked hard to get a care assistant job in the UK but you couldn't, this is yet another opportunity. I believe a lot of people will be able to be qualified because they are considering both experience and qualification. So make sure you watch this video to the very end. Let's walk through all the details and I will give you an idea of the kind of people that will also likely get this opportunity. Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you are highly welcome. My name is Linda Eze. I'm a registered nurse and here I share information on how you can work, study and thrive abroad. So if this is the kind of content you like, be sure to join the family by subscribing and let me know that you joined us in the comment section okay so let's jump right into it so here is the official australian government website where you need to get all your information okay so the australian um, nursing and military free accreditation council they are the ones that the australian government have already um connected to to help with the assessment so they said the australian government in connection with the new age care level agreement um has selected the am MAC as the skills assessing authority for two direct care occupations. So we have the personal care assistant and that's the number and then the nursing support worker and that's the work number as well. So aged care providers who have entered into an industry level agreement will be able to recruit overseas workers where qualified Australians are now available and that is something you have to pay attention to so that when you are applying and then the, um, you have to apply for so many jobs before you get this, you know the reason why, okay? So the agreement is an initiative of the Department of Home Affairs to address current workforce shortage in the aged care industry in Australia. So the migration skills assessment will include a qualified and or work experience assessment of aged care workers to find out more you have to go here but what you need to know again is that the documentation requirements application steps and the fee schedule can be found under the skilled migration service tab so be here and again you have the full skills assessment you have the direct care assessment you have this this one that we are talking about the aged care industry level and all of that i'm going to be going into details of all of this and i'm going to also work with someone that is already in australia to make sure that we are giving you all the tools that you need to make this a success so if you're yet to subscribe to the channel i will suggest you subscribe and join us on this journey let's see how many people will be able to get on this opportunity as soon as possible okay so let's go to the direct care skill assessment so if you come on here, you see, do you qualify for a migration skills assessment? The AN MAC will assess applications for support um, officers, AN, ZSCO, and personal care assistant occupations only. So the cost of this assessment is $545. So to apply, you must have a certificate, three minimum qualification in a relevant field obtained overseas, including nursing related study or study or uh, study in aged care so or so is it that you have that qualification or you have a full-time paid work so this one is not a volunteer work unfortunately if you have been working like the past year two years ago or whatever and it is paid you need to have that evidence that someone is paying you for that job right so i would say your pay stub will be the proof so at least 12 months in a relevant area completed in Australia or overseas within the last five years, including nursing related work or work in an aged care setting. So if you're a nurse overseas and have completed a qualification that has led to a professional registration, then you are eligible to apply. You will need to provide evidence of current overseas nursing registration. Other nursing related qualification will be assessed on a case by case basis. So you do not, you do not need a skills assessment if you obtain your qualification in Australia. You, if you completed a qualification overseas from an Australian related um, or Australian registered training organization, you will re you will require a skills assessment. So please know this skills assessment does not guarantee your employment or migration to Australia. 
so guys this information they are really very important because i know how people will jump onto this and start collecting a lot of money from people what you can do is to get the right information you can definitely definitely do this by yourself if you need a cv review for australia particularly i'm willing to go in and provide a lot of samples i don't want people falling into the wrong hands because of this opportunity this is you know white and black on the internet the link everything that you need if you're paying another, another person for this then you are definitely on your own but this is something you can do if if cv is a problem please let me know whatever you feel might be um for that whatever you feel you might by be like a hindrance let us know if i don't know how to get this available in this channel i can call on someone that is already there or someone that has experience and all of that again i'll be reviewing all the agencies as they start posting all these jobs and then let's see how we go from there okay i'm really super excited for this so step by step what you need to do the following information and step may help to minimize delays in the assessment process so read the requirement for scanned copies before you submit uh, view the resources and a video on how to upload it okay so um so the step one is if you are using your overseas nursing qualification to apply for the direct care of patient skills assessment you will need to arrange for professional registration verification to be emailed to this place okay so emailed which is really good you don't need to start paying for um, ups or whatever to send it the second step is collect and scan your cop uh, copies of the following original supporting documents so you have the bio statistical pages of your passport the passport like where you have your data the two official identity in, uh, documents including your official photo bearing um, official photo bearing document like your driver's license change of name and official passport size photograph graduation certificates or transcripts if you have them so if you are employed by an agency you need to provide ASU with a service statement from your employer so yeah so, so step three is to create an account on ANMC, NMAC website you can only apply once using the same email if you're finding this is difficult and you want me to go through this like i can create and uh, so we'll see how it goes complete the direct care of patient skills assessment by you know completing the online form processing your credit card payment here checking you received an email from us contacting us if this confirmation email is not received within 24 hours and all of that so here they said um start your direct care um skills assessment and this was recently reviewed so if you go onto this website this is the website just go on to this girl if you if you have once this i would say go on and start doing this already okay so another thing that we want to go through is um the fee schedule okay so if you go to the fee schedule uh, modify skills assessment how much is it the current fee is 340 um, dollars as of um you know as of first of july 2023 you have modified plus skills assessment you have 340 full skills assessment you have uh, 515 so if you go on to this you, they can also refer um this one refund administration fee fee professional appeal of statement decision so if they they didn't assess it well or whatever you need them you need to appeal you need to pay 200 dollars so as you can see all these 240 dollars 340 dollars um, 515 dollars 50 dollars and all of that these are the things that you need to pay for the assessment i remember what they said that paying all this money all these things doesn't make doesn't guarantee but if you have the assessment of course applying for jobs will be easy peasy because you have what it takes already and i believe you know when these opportunities come and agencies are trying to um, recruit a lot of people from overseas some of them will even promise to reimburse this but that's not a guarantee but we'll see how it goes okay and then make sure you join us if you uh, if you have any question let me know in the comment section what are the things that we you believe will help you to make this thing work Australia is definitely a good place to go to and I believe that is one of the best countries to go especially for healthcare workers if you have a job and they pay a lot better than most European countries for sure so you want to get on this opportunity start doing something to make this work for you I wish everyone the very best and I hope we get on that okay thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video